Alleluia, Alleluia. He, he is risen indeed. Alleluia. Brother and sister in Jesus Christ, today is Easter Sunday. We celebrate the victory of our Lord Jesus Christ. And welcome to this online service today to praise Jesus and to say Alleluia. And the reading this morning is taken from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 16, verses 1 to 8. Early in the morning, the woman went to the tomb. What they saw there, we will share today together. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive in your own life. Jesus is present in our church. Jesus is there in our community. Jesus is alive in our country. Hallelujah. Brother and sister in Jesus Christ, it is time now to say sorry to God for our sins. Christ died to sin once for all, and now he lives to God. Let us renew our resolve to have done with all that is evil and to confess our sins in penitence and faith. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have our mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with the living bread. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May the God of love and power forgive you and free you from your sins, heal and strengthen you by his Spirit, and raise you to new life in Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcome the old order of sin and death, to make all things new in him. Grant that we, being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ, may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honor, glory and might, now and forever. Amen. Because he walked with men, I know the way. Because he calmed the storm, I'm not afraid. Because he bowed beneath all things, he lifted me above. Because he shed his blood for me, I know his love.
Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. 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 When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? When they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had already been rolled back. And they entered the tomb. They saw a young man dressed in white robe, sitting on the right side, and they asked. But they said to them, Do not be alarmed. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has been raised. He is not here. Look there is the place they led him. But go tell his disciple and Peter that is going ahead of you to Galilee. There you will see him just as he told you. As they went out and fled from the tomb for terror and amazement as says them. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. This is the Gospel of the Lord. My brother and sister in Jesus Christ, Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. He is risen indeed, Alleluia. Welcome to this online service. Again, I say that from the beginning. It's one of the biggest days in our life as a Christian to celebrate the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. For 40 days, he was there trying to give up something, to pray. Now is the day, like we say last Sunday, is the day, is the day, is the day God made. Jesus is alive. But the message from Mark because I like this gospel, Mark chapter 16, verses 1 to 8. Mike started the gospel by saying, the beginning of the good news of Jesus Christ, Son of God. And this message today is about the good news. You see, Jesus is the good news. That is what I want to share with you. Sometimes we don't like it. We don't like to hear what Jesus is telling us, the good news. We want to hear what we want ourselves. But it's not the case. The good news, see the good news. And today is about the resurrection of our Lord, Jesus Christ. When you read the gospel today, the gospel starts by saying, the woman went early in the morning. But what they were saying themselves, they say, we don't know who will help us with the big stone to move it one side for us to go inside. But when they arrived, they found everything was already, was already sorry, made by God. The stone was open already. They went inside. They may say sometimes the fears for us to talk about God. The fear for us as a church, because this is the beginning of the church, because the gospel say, Go back to the in Galilee, tell Peter, the head of the, the group, that I'm coming. Because the church is started from there in Galilee. And Jesus said, I'm going there to see them, to tell them that's the beginning of the church. But the first people to announce the, the news for the resurrection were women. They went back. When the disciples stay in Galilee, all the women, they say Mary Magdalene and other Mary, they went back to tell the disciple, we have seen the Lord. And Jesus' message 
telling the church, you become a new church. Everything is new. The beginning of everything. The beginning of your life. The beginning of your church. And today, the Lord is asking us if to, we want to be to reborn again like a church, to become new. But sometimes the church, we don't want to be born again. We don't like it. We don't like new life. We don't like change. We want to keep our habit, what we want to hear. <laughs> but the message of resurrection is about new life. It's about resurrection. It's about new opportunities in your life, in the life of the church, the life of the community, the life of the country. The beginning, new life, new opportunities. Look forward, not backward. That is the message for res resurrection. But sometimes we want to hear what we want. But the Lord is telling us this morning, please, as a community, as a new people, I ask you to look forward. That is the new life. If you want to succeed, look forward. If you want your church to strive again, look Jesus bringing the new life. Because most of the time, we don't want to become new. We want to be the same. But the message for the resurrection is a new life. That is my wish for all our churches, St. Anne, St. Lawrence, everywhere in the world, to become new and to restart again. Because the Lord is giving us opportunity to born again, to restart again from scratch, and to go forward. May the Lord be with you, bless you, keep you safe. Hallelujah! New life. Let us go for new life. Thank you. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, it's time to offer our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray for the church, we pray for the world, we pray for ourselves, we pray for those in need. That our risen Savior may fill us with the joy of his glorious and life-giving resurrection. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. We pray now for isolated and persecuted churches in the world, especially those churches in Africa, in the world, which not, they don't have peace when they celebrate, may find fresh strength in the good news of Easter. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. We pray that God may grant us humility to be subject to one another in a Christian love, especially for our churches, St. Anne and St. Lawrence's, to be a place of love, a place of forgiveness. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. We pray for those we need our help. We need our prayers. We need God's healing touch. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. We pray that he may reveal the light of his presence to the sick, for those who are not well in our community. We pray for Lorna Smith, who will go to the hospital on Saturday. We pray for those in our community that the Lord be with them and reveal the light of his presence to them and comfort and strengthen them. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer, that according to his promise and all who have died in the faith of the resurrection may be raised on the last day. We pray to the Father, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you have delivered us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of your Son. Grant that as his death 
as record us to life. So his continual presence in us may raise us to eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A crown of thorns placed on his head He knew that he would soon be dead He said, did you forget me, Father, did you? friends in Jesus Christ. It's the end of our service. I hope you enjoyed it. And this morning we celebrate Easter, Easter Day, and the message from Mark chapter 16 verses 1 to 8 is we are people of the resurrection. We are new people in Jesus Christ. We become a new church from today, a new community. And the message is are to born again, not only to be Christian, to be baptized in Jesus Christ, but to be transformed by the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. That is what we can keep from today. May the Lord be with us to change the place we are, to bring hope 
resurrection and new life. That is the way the Lord is calling us today. And let us pray. Almighty God, whose Son Jesus Christ is the resurrection and the life, raise us, we trust in him, from the death of sin to the life of righteousness, that we may seek those things that are above where he reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Praise the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has given us new life and hope. He has raised Jesus from the dead. God the Father, by the glory Christ was raised from the dead, strengthen you to walk with him in his risen life, and blessing of God Almighty, and the Father bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Notices next week, this time in the church is a break for the church. The minister everywhere is an Easter break. And next week we will not have the online service. We resume on the 18th of April. See you again. Enjoy your time. God be with you during this uh, Easter time. Stay safe. See you again. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.